Hi Libra, I'm going to do a general reading for June 2022. I'll use the True Black deck and I'll clarify with the excellent Black Violet by Heidi Phelps. Really love that deck, it's great. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. We're going to do a 3x3 three three reading. So we've got Celebration, the Moon, Page of Pentacles. Love to see the Page of Pentacles, really like to see that. Page of Swords, another good card. That's quite a lot, Two of Swords, what's going on? Another celebration card, King of Swords again, Destiny and Six of Swords. That's come up a fair bit. Energy on the bottom, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Libra, got to be careful we don't procrastinate this month. Uh, energy on the bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles, is a card of steadfast, maybe even stubbornness. Um, it's, it's not quite the sort of my way or the highway attitude, but it's, uh, if you think about it, she's, she's massively over-armoured got this really tank like armor on and while it works really really well it can sometimes be sort of lack of agility and, and responsiveness so just be careful of that energy next uh, in june leo so generally this reading i kind of go from left to right so you know this is the beginning of the month that's the end of the month and also it kind of goes that way but again it's quite an intuitive read so i'm just going to get straight to it so we start off with the moon. Moon is uh, listening to your subconscious, looking for those signs and um, portents, you know, black cats don't walk under ladders. It's all that kind of stuff. But the other thing about the moon card, particularly in this deck, is it's about untapped potential energy. There's a real reservoir of something that you've got this month. Um, you're also walking away from a situation, or we're happily moving away from one place to another. It could in indicate travel, but generally speaking, these swords here are really rusty and worn and useless. And the burdens, you know, the burdens that we kind of carry around with us. And you're sailing away to a new destination, which should be less volatile and suit you better. But just be aware that when you do move into this new adventure or this new place, the those issues remain those burdens remain when you put your head on the pillow if you've not dealt with your financial problems they're still there if you move to another country they're still there you know if you're mean-spirited and you go to bed at night you're still mean-spirited you know you, you need to step up move on be the better person blah 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 um and you do because you've got the page of swords down here and again in this deck what i like about this card is he's cutting through the nonsense some brambles were trying to hold him back and he was like i'm having none of that but by cutting through them and going for that real he's cutting through the faff and the wooliness he's got to the truth of the matter and the truth of the matter is really good and really positive so it's about don't dance around things libra you know librans can be very guilty of that kind of indecision and procrastination and don't do that this month you need to really take the bull by the horns the universe provides it's going to give you enough energy so if you were deciding next week to do an Ironman or a triathlon or a marathon or a big bike ride, the the moon card there is, is going, well, okay, here's all the energy you need, yeah? But just be honest and open about it. These two cards carry a little sting of deceit with them and a little bit of um, untruth, yeah? So just, just be careful of that. Just be open and honest, you'll be fine. I mean, the central card the Four of Wands, which is fantastic. Card of freedom, celebration, moving on. It's joyful, it's sharing with other people. It's a real win-win situation. And on top of that, you've got the Three of Cups. So you go the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands down to the King of Swords. Three of Cups is a card of celebration. In a Rider weight deck, it's normally three women dancing around with these glasses, these the chalices or goblets, whatever, having a great time. You know, So again, we're talking celebration and celebration, one after the other. And the King of Swords is... Is that just an open kind of, you know, when I was talking down here about being open and always telling the truth and not being, not being woolly or, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Vague. There you go. It took a while. Don't be vague. You know, if someone says, do you want to come to the party? The King of Swords goes, no, thank you. I wouldn't be seen dead there. You're all a bunch of hippies. Or no, thank you. I wouldn't be seen. Or yes, please. I'd love to go. You know what I mean? It's that real... And people go, oh, get you, that was quite rude. And it's not, you know. It was a group of hippies having a party. He doesn't want to go to a party that's, you know, it, it just doesn't suit him. He's, it, or maybe he's a hippie himself, but he doesn't want to go to that one. So it's that real honesty about going, no, thank you. So the King of Swords is about clarity. It's about real, um, 
you know, he's planted his sword, he's sort of put himself to the ground and gone, I am who I am, you know, and then there's, there's obviously wind there because he's got this black coat, cloak billowing behind him and these butterflies are transforming and becoming ideas. But he's he's kind of set in his ways, but in a really good way because, you know, it's always worked for him. So he's old enough and wise enough to know this works. I'm just going to carry on doing it this way because it works. And that's that. Then this is where we're going to find ourselves towards the end of the month. Love, love, love the Page of Pentacles. She came up in the previous read, which was for Taurus this week. Um, and, you know, she's naked, which means she's, she's you know, it's truthful, it's honest, it's authentic. There's a lot of openness in this read, Libra. It's a real, you know, she's naked because she's nothing to hide. You know, someone goes, did you work late last night? And she just goes, yeah, I did. You know, she doesn't go, mm, do I say yes or no? Will they think I'm a slacker for working late? Will they give me a pay rise for working late if she worked late she just said she works late you know do you do you still like your partner yes i love them it's just that it's all about openness and honesty and truth truthfulness this month i've got hiccups now anyway this particular card you know she's so focused and determined she's pulling herself up one-handed to the thing that she wants the goal the focus and she's doing it with such a serene look on her face she knows she's going to do it yeah imagine going on a bike ride or going to walk up to someone to ask them out and know that they're going to say yes not in a big headed way but just have that feeling inside yourself you know this is what I want I've, you know this is what I want to spend my focus on my time my energy so this is great so find out what it is you need to focus on be truthful about it be honest and open about it don't 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 pay lip service to somebody don't say you want to go to Hong Kong if you don't just go king of swords will go i don't want to go to hong kong i never want to go to hong kong and that's it job's done something's going to come in towards the end of the month as well fate destiny and in this deck and i read this deck based on this deck not the right away it talks about there's nothing you can do about it. it's coming out left field could be quite traumatic this is this strange alien godlike being that's lording it over our planet and it's tying together all these strands of fate and it is, is literally that. Fate's coming for us. There's nothing we can do about it. We just need to, when it comes, make the decision then. And just a reminder down here, this has come up a lot. I'm not sure why, but it's come up in two, three, four readings, I think. The Two of Swords is a, a kind of stalemate card, a slight stagnation. There's an important message that's been lost. It's actually been torn up as these two swords kind of just rub against each other. So it's a card of friction and it's a card of stagnation and stalemate. And in a more traditional Rider weight deck, the woman is sat, you know, with the sea behind her and some land behind her. And she's holding two swords up and she's got a blindfold on. It's like, take the blinkers off, put the swords down, turn around and see the bigger picture. See your destination. And it could be that, that scares people. You know, you're like, I'm just going to prepare for it. I'm going to prepare for it. I'm going to prepare for it. It's like, you're prepared. We're ready to go now. Let's go. So let's see if we can clarify these. So on top of the moon, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is destiny. The train is in the station. Jump on board. We have the Knight of Wands, which is, you know, a new adventure. Jumping in with both feet um, in this particular deck. No, oh, it's not the Knight, is it? It's the Page. But the Page of Wands in this deck is like the Indiana Jones of the deck. But the Page of the Knight of Wands is real jumping with both feet, real enthusiasm. Then we have the Four of Swords, which is um, solace, rest and recuperation. There's a minor blessing coming through as well. So that's um, good to see. Then we have on top of three, we have Queen of Pentacles. This is someone who's completely in tune with herself and her nature, um, knows what she wants. Um, yeah, they're really, it's a really secure, beautiful energy. On top of the other celebration card, we've got the Fool. Jumping in with both feet. Time for an adventure, Libra. Let's do this. Hierophant on top of the King of Swords. This is The King of Swords knows what's right, and the Hierophant is about knowledge and, and doing things for the greater good. So the King of Swords is saying, let's do it this way because we're all going to benefit. So this month, Libra, I think concentrate on your own energy and your own... Um, your own knowledge and understanding. You you know the right way to do it this month. On top of the page, we've got the lovers. You're very attractive this month. There is some trial involved, which could be down to destiny and the wheel of fortune. Two of pentacles, stay flexible, keep juggling, make sure that um, what you want this month and, and, and you, you focus on it, you stay on it, you stay agile, you stay flexible. The nine of wands, the weary warrior. Um, Okay, so there's a kind of feeling towards the end of the month 
that when this Destiny Wheel of Fortune thing comes in, which is obviously twice, so the universe is doubling down on that, there's a feeling that this month there's something is going to come in um, it's going to blindside us a little bit. But only briefly, we're going to come out the other side, it's going to be absolutely fine. Um, but we need to stay flexible. We need to know that maybe we there's, there's some kind of trial or, or confrontation involved, something like that. And the Nine of Wands is, you know you're going to win, but even if you do win, it's, it's exhausting, isn't it? You know, it, you know you have a conflict, it doesn't matter about whatever the conflict is, the wars. There aren't really any winners in wars. There is one side that wins and one side that loses. But it's that weary kind of, oh, here we go again, have I got to fight you guys again? And you win, and they're all lying on the floor, you know, with broken arms and broken legs. And then they send in another nine guys, and you do it again. And you're like, really? We're going to have to keep doing this? And that's what this is. So this person here is victorious, but the look on the face is like weary. It's like, oh, do I have to do this again? So yeah, we do have to do this again. Libra, you're in for an excellent month, really good. But I think you need to stay flexible and stay straight agile you know you don't want to be stuck in your ways that's what it is someone's going to come in with maybe a new way of thinking on top of this stoic way of thinking yeah embrace it yeah embrace it your gut knows it's the right thing and then the nine of wands yeah the weary warrior we've got this you know you're going to win you're going to come out the other side so it's an interesting month june i think um I think for Librans in particular, I think the start of the month is fine and then I think it ramps up during the month. I'd be interested to see how it uh, ends up. Anyway, come and see me for more of the same and I will see you soon. Take care.